Hello everybody, I'm Nora Burrows. I have accumulated so many leftover blocks, orphan blocks, uh, that it is time to do something with them. And I have a great idea. I think it's a great idea. Uh, something that I have never seen before until last week I saw an antique quilt that utilized what looked like orphan blocks set into hexagons. And I wanted to give that a try, uh, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently, put my own little spin on it. Uh, but I have gathered all of my, my orphan blocks. Some of them are gonna be too big, which means I'll have to pare them down. And some of the pieces of those blocks will get cut off, which might be a little jarring. And then um, other blocks are gonna be too small. I'll need to add on, but I wanna add on to those blocks in kind of interesting ways. So let me show you what I'm thinking. I have some orphan blocks here. I have more. This is just a handful of them, but these are the blocks that I'm going to be using. And then here is my hexagon that I just got. Um, and I think with this hexagon, you can somehow make different size hexagons, but I'm just going to use this really huge, enormous hexagon, but you could do the same thing really with any size hexagon. So let's take a look. Um, let's just, let's just pull this first one off the top here. I have this very long strip here that's been pieced together. Uh, and I think what I'm gonna do is put this on two sides. So I'll have to trim this, but I'll put the black against one side and the brown against the other. And then I'll do something different, maybe wider coming down these two sides here. Here's the block so far. I decided to go all the way around instead of just two sides. And then in addition, I added an extra strip at the bottom. So I do have more of this and I could keep going around until I'm the size of my hexagon and then chop it off. Uh, but I think, you know, this is starting to get very dark. So I think I wanna do something else. And what I'm thinking is if I line, let's say this brown side up against the edge here, um, and have this be a side, this would get trimmed right here. These are long strips I have left over from I think like a pieced backing or something. So I could kind of put this gray around and even, you know, have some of the um, blue if I wanted, but I'm not sure. I need to think about what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna sew this piece onto here so there will be a little bit of that gray coming around the corner here. And then I'll start to piece the gray, the rest of the gray around the other parts. Here we have this piece sewed on. We're gonna put our template right on top. And then I'm gonna trim. So this will be the corner of my hexagon and I'm gonna add fabric onto the other sides down here. I've added the gray on. I have one more cut to make here. And let's see how it looks. I love it. I think it is super cool. And I'm really pleased that I didn't try and center this block in the middle. I think having it offset is really cool. And then when I put it into the quilt, I can really have it facing anywhere that I want. This one is really good. Let's make another one. I have these two blocks here and I thought what I would do is put them next to each other and add a little bit of this fabric to the bottom. Let's do that and then see what's next. What I'd like to do next is surround this with this black and white kind of floral print. Um, but when I put my um, hexagon to square it up, I don't want to put it, you know, directly even like this. I want to make it kind of wonky. So I'm just going to kind of put some on two sides here and then trim and then I'll see what I need for the other side. I really like the contrast between the black and white and this block in the middle. So let's see, I put my um, hexagon on top and it looks like I still need a piece on the side and the bottom and then this block will be done. I had uh, thought about changing the fabric to be something else like maybe a black and white stripe or something, something different, but I think um, for this one, I'm just gonna keep it consistent. And this block is done. I changed it a little bit from what I said I found some of this green, which is very similar to the green up top. So I put that on the bottom and then I did put the stripe on the side. And I think that looks pretty cool. Let's see these two blocks next to each other here. 
These are really fun. Let's do another one. Let's do something a little bit different. For both of these, we kind of off-centered our block and then surrounded it in another fabric. Let's, let's do something a little bit different. I have this quilt block here and this piano key border, piece of a piano key border. So I thought if I put these two next to each other, see where we're at, if we put this over it, and then I can just piece together something over here. Let me put these two pieces together first. Let's put the template over it. And if I wanna get the tip as close to the edge as I can, and then I line the top up there, and I'll cut this side and that side and right across the top. I think I'll cut a piece of this and just have this fill in the empty space over here. Here's the third one finished. I love it. These are going by so quickly and I'm just really enjoying this process. Uh, I had to add a little bit of a coping strip to the bottom because it didn't quite go down far enough and then I added this piece onto the side. Really great. Let's do another one. I have these two blocks here uh, that I'd like to put into the next hexagon and what I'm thinking about doing is putting a little bit of this red fabric on top of this one, on the bottom of this one, and then kind of a triangle up the middle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that a shot. I trimmed the bottom and the top. I have a little bit more to put on the sides here. I'm not exactly sure how I'm feeling about this one at this point. I still have to put a little bit of red both on the right and the left, as you can see right here and right here. And then we'll take a look and see how I'm feeling about it. Um, it's my least favorite so far, but it's not done yet, so let's see. And here it is. Uh, let me tell you what would have been better in my opinion. If I had used a cream as the background, for example, something like, like this or something like this, I think would have been a better contrast. I'm not, I'm not really loving the red, but I think it's fine. Let's do one more and then we'll have a total of five hexagons. I have these three blocks that I'd like to put together. Maybe something like, like this or something like that. Uh, and then I think this fabric would go pretty nicely with them. Um, but there's not a lot of contrast. So maybe this around the edge and then this one, you know, right next to it. So it would look something perhaps like, like that. And then this around. Let's try that. Here's the finished block. I did not video this creation of this piece because I was really focused on making it work. I was, I was unhappy with it for the majority of creating it. Eventually I ended up kind of with this big square here, which I probably should have, should have left, but didn't because I felt like it was too square. So I chopped off these two sides and then sewed on the black. Um, I do really like parts of this piece, I love this solid blue here. I think this really makes the um, makes this piece cool. I think it makes it cool. Uh, and then I like this piece over here, which is very modern. You know, I think this is an 1800s recreation fabric. And then these are, you know, very modern looking pieces. So putting them together, I think, is kind of unexpected and cool. So I, I do ultimately like this block. Uh, yes, so the other thing that I did was I had this checkerboard piece that was, you know, the same two fabrics as that other piece. Let me show you. It's the same idea as these, these, these pieces here. So I had created all three, one, two, three of these at the same time. Um, and then as you know, I was not happy with this red one and wished that I had kind of used tan in between here. So I just wanted to see how the tan would look. I actually don't like it all that much better, uh, but, you know, you can't win them all. So let's look at some of these uh, blocks together. Here they are all together. I think they look fantastic, really different. I really enjoyed the process of making these and I think the outcome is pretty spectacular actually. And just because I don't love every single one of them, uh, I actually think that when they come together as a group, they look really cool. So I will continue to make these 
So don't forget to subscribe. Follow me along in the process. I am also on Instagram. My handle is mostly quilts by Nora. So you can check me out there. I post things on Instagram that I don't do videos for. Uh, so thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.